Hi there paint shoppers, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This tutorial is going to look at these things, these little droppers down here. You've got a white one, a gray one, and a black one. And what you can do with them and why they're so cool. You'd think that they, yeah, they can't do very much because they're just tiny, but they can. So let's see, you got to always do this on the uh, preview. Uh, first, the theory is that if you take this one, the white one, and you click it on a spot that should be white, it will turn that white, even if it's not white at the present time, before you clicked it. Uh, the same with the black, and the same with the middle gray. In fact, once you take the white one, for instance, and click on an area that should be white, everything else will fall in line, and the, the theory is that your exposure will be perfect. So let's see how that works. Now, incidentally, the middle gray one, that's your Swiss Army knife of adjustments. That's pretty amazing, that one. So you got to do this on the preview mode. And you don't want to be doing these little tiny things here, so we just drag this up to the top, make it big, and away we go. Now, if the theory's hold is true, when I click on this one, it'll turn this other side perfectly white and black, okay? So let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. And you can see that the curve jumped over. So let's say fine. We're happy with that. And uh, that really works, and this is good information. So if you need to know how to write good, yeah, take note of this. Second one is the H bomb. The H bomb is a miniature bull terrier who absolutely adores playing ball. She will play it anytime, any place, doesn't matter the weather, rain, snow, sleet, hail, uh, fog, thunder, lightning, hot, cold. She'll play. So I took this picture of her in our, her with her snowy nose and her uh, somewhat red beak there. And I want to make this a bit smaller. There, we're going to make it 33%. That about fits my screen. Now, I happen to know, and one of the, the real cool things about this, one of the most difficult, is finding the pure white, the jet black, or the middle gray. That's the subject for another video, another tutorial. But you can find it. Now, when you first start to try this, probably you're just going to do, you know, hunt and guess. So I'd say if, if I was doing hunt and guess, I'd be guessing right about here. But I've already figured this one out, so I know it's exactly there. So watch the H-bomb on the right and see what happens. There, look at that. That made a big difference really fast. Uh, let's take a look at the curves again. It didn't do very much on this curve, but it certainly did uh, fix the picture. So that was before, that was after. One little click, okay? The next one, UK artist. This is Destiny Blue. She is an awesome young lady. She is a, an awesome artist. She travels the world drawing and selling her artwork. Uh, she goes to things like Fan Expo and Comic Cons, things like that. And uh, I, I saw her itinerary the last time I saw her, and she'd been everywhere. Top to bottom, left to right, front to back. Okay, so we want to fix this. It's got a bit of a blue cast. Maybe it's because of her hair. I don't know. But it's a, it's a nice hair. Okay, so I happen to know already. I've done this a few times. The whitest spot is right here on her tooth. The blackest spot is right up here in her eyeball. And middle gray is that little funny shadow just around her nose there. So we're going to do this one in two, two steps. We're going to just try middle gray first. I said it's the uh, Swiss Army knife. Let's see if it's true. Let's see if I know what I'm talking about. If I don't, why am I doing the video, right? Okay, so I'm just going to click it right here. There, okay. There. One click, and we got that. That's amazing, isn't it? So let's uh, let's get rid of this one, and then we'll just play around with the whites and the blacks. But I, I like just what the middle gray does. It's beautiful. Okay, so we're going to go and make ourselves another curves dialog here. And we're up to the top. Now, we'll first do the white. And you can kind of watch the picture on the right, see what it's doing. There, that brightened up a lot. Now I'm going to get the black one. And I'm going to come up here to her eye. Make sure i got black set. And just click it there. Now black never makes a big difference. It may make a very subtle one. Uh, now I'm going to go down to the uh, that middle gray spot as well. So I'm doing all three of them on this one. Okay, now let's go back out. Look at that, eh? Nice. It's got some nice rich colors to it. Um, the color cast is gone. So you can see what you can do with this thing. 
Okay, the theater district. The theater district. Uh, kind of a flat, goofy thing. Dark. Can't see much. Uh, the way to fix this one is to use the same thing. Well, you can fiddle around with curves a lot and do all kinds of other things, but this one will do it quickly. Now, I happen to know, because I've done this as I said before, that the latest spot, <coughs> which I, I found hard to believe, was this guy's shirt right here, especially up on his collar. So I can take and I'm going to click on his collar right there. There, look at that. Now we're going to come out and look at it. That's it. One shot, done. Uh, let's try it. Now, this. If you mess up on this, it really messes up. So I'm going back in here again. And I'm going to click on what I think is the middle gray. And we'll see what happens. It may completely mess it up. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Uh, let's reset it. Um, okay. And now let's see if we can get it back to where it should be. Well, this is before and this is after. So cancel it there. We're going to leave it there. If, if you mess it up like I just did, it's probably best to throw it away and start over again. Okay, now the lakefront. The lakefront's an interesting one. It was taken in uh, a summer August evening, late in the, in the month. It was uh, kind of a cloudy day. The sun was sinking into the lake. So the front of these people here and here, they were kind of orangey, ambery color. So let's, uh, oh, I've got two curves on here. How do I do that? I'll just get rid of one of them. Okay, we're going here. Okay, there we go. Now, I happen to know that the latest spot is right here in her pants. So I'm going to get the white dropper, click it there, and you'll see it makes a change there. It kind of blued things up a bit. Uh, the darkest spot is right under her arm here. So I'm going right up under her arm, right there. Again, it'll make a very subtle change. And I found in the lake, in the water, that the, the little wave that's facing toward me, most of them are middle gray. And that's from my other method of doing it. And another thing that you can find for middle gray is uh, green grass. It usually has the same reflectance. OK, so I'm going to use middle gray here. And let's see what happens. There. OK, now we're going to go back out. Now, that is after, before, and after. That is more indicative of things because you've got that ambery thing going on a bit better. Um, back in here, it was kind of getting dark uh, because of the time of the day. So that worked quite well, and I'm, I'm pleased with that. So the last one I got is Mr. Left Turn. Okay, the lightest spot is right here, and uh, the other one is right up here. I did use the snow over here and here as a, a white spot. The black spot is, let's see, it's on this car. It's underneath this car, and we've got that thing backing up there. We'll stop it. Okay, we've got the thing backing up there. Under here, right there, the darkest. And come on, hand tool, where are you? There we go. And under this car as well. Middle gray on this one is this shadow right there. And I guess probably any shadow like that, but this one works out really nicely. So let's go with this. Let's try a middle gray just to start off with, just to show you how well the Swiss RV knife works. OK, click it there, click it there, there, and OK. Pretty good, right? OK, I'm going to get rid of this one. Yep, and we'll add a new one on. And now we're going to do the whites and the blacks. Okay, so I said the white is this right here. Okay, watch the preview on the right. There, brighten it up. And I'm going to come back up under the car here. We're going to go black right in there. A very subtle change, if anything. And then we'll just add the middle gray in as well. And that is going to be this shadow right there. Middle gray, and we're going to go out and take a look at it. Much better. After, before, after. Got rid of the color cast. Just made it a bit nicer to look at. So that's what you can do with these things. Once you figured out where white, black, and middle gray are, you can do some amazing things. And uh, as you can see with Destiny Blue, especially, and the Theater District, 
it uh, really made a big change. So I hope you found this interesting and I hope you find it useful. Give it a try. You'll find uh, it very interesting, especially if you make a mistake because <laughs> the mistakes are uh, can be profound. So uh, take your time with it. If you have any questions whatsoever, shoot me an email or uh, let's see on YouTube. Just make a comment and ask your questions. If you're on my website, uh, just send me a message through the uh, the contact sheet, the contact form. I answer every question I get. So I appreciate your time. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Bye now.